Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that autumn wreath in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, please keep watching. And if you want to know what fonts I used in that title, then come to my Telegram channel. On my Telegram channel you will find not only fonts as well posts about graphic design, about stocks and freelance and many many interesting information as well you will find chat with designers on Telegram channel. And of course in that chat will be me. And if you're interested to see my life then come to my Instagram, there you will find my life in Montenegro in a small town Herzog Neue. Come to my Telegram and Instagram, it will be interesting. And let's start to create our design. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in that tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Ok guys, at first you need these two photos and you will find the links to these photos below this video. And now let's start. Let's take that orange color and take curvature tool and let's start, start to draw that leaf. It's like your sketch. You need to create the shape of that leaf. Why I like curvature tool? Because it creates very wavy shapes without corners and it's pretty good for the shapes like this leaf. Ok, now you can delete the fill to see the stroke. And now let's continue like this, close the path. Ok, it's ready. Now let's take a brown color. In brush window we need to take that brush and now let's take brush tool, double click here, we need that option here, ok. And now let's draw the texture of the leaf, like that. It's almost ready, ok. Now you can change stroke to fill to see our shape and take dark orange color and curvature tool and create I would say a shadow or highlight like this. I think better shadow to say. Ok, let's close the path. Now let's select these two shapes and the photo and bring to back. And now we can delete the photo. Ok, and move these shapes to make the design better. Now select the leaf. Make it smaller. Ok. And now you can... And now you can select the leaf and put it here for now. Now let's select the next leaf and here we need pink color in the stroke. And we need to take pen tool. And now let's create the shape of the leaf as well it will be our sketch. Just go straight to the shape with help of pen tool. Let me make it a little quicker. Ok, like that. Let's close the path. Now let's take dark uh, pink color and egg and pen tool and let's draw the shadow inside. It's ok if it will be not 
perfect it will be more natural now let's change stroke to fill to see our result like this and now we need to back the stroke to add texture with the help of that dark color and dark violet color and brush tool let's draw here the shape it's okay if you can do it from the second or third try okay let's draw as well the texture on the leaf is your sketch like this now again change stroke to fill now you can put photo here or you can delete it as you like it now if you like you always can fix uh, for example the shape of the leaf here with help of direct section tool like that now select the leaf make it smaller put here make it more smaller like that and if you like you can stay the stroke of the leaf inside like this or you can select the strokes and make them a little thinner for example 0 0.7 and the same for that leaf 0 0.7 and now we can uh, go to object and expand appearance now go to object expand appearance and now here object expand appearance and now all strokes are became fills now take brown color and ellipse tool create the ellipse like this make it thinner now we need to take polygon tool with three sides it will be triangle rotate it make it smaller and put in that place okay M move it a little up like this select and go to pathfinder unite now direct section tool select that point hold shift and this point and round the corners now take dark brown color and ellipse tool create the ellipse like this select that point and move it a little up make it a little smaller or better a little bigger like that okay and now copy and paste that brown shape make it smaller and take that color here and that color for this shape okay and now brown color and pen tool draw here the next shape and select these two points with direct selection tool and round corners now bring that shape to back move a little down okay make it a little bigger uh, now let's uh, take that shape sorry that color and pen tool and draw here the first shape okay and press escape to move pen tool mode now draw the second line escape now curvature tool 
let's add one point here and round the side and do the same here. And now let's take pen tool and draw one more line here and one more here okay now let's move that shape a little down like this and now let's select all lines and take that brush but let's make the size here 0 0.5 the size of the stroke or 0 0.7 or 0 0.5 as you like okay and we need to delete unwanted parts beyond the shape select all lines and the shape shape builder tool and hold odd and delete unwanted parts okay now let's move that point a little up and do the same here okay select that shape group it and object expand appearance as well you can group leaves it will be easier to work with these shapes and now let's draw the brown line here with brush tool and draw here more lines like this okay now let's take red color in the fill draw the ellipse here a circle and take light color to add highlight now select these two shapes and group them and now just hold out and make copies to add them in that places and group object expand appearance okay and now let's draw the last one dark brown color and brush tool create the brush sorry create the shape and pen tool create the next one like this and change stroke to fill and just uh, rotate it and as well copy and paste to create the plant view like this let's make it a little faster okay and now it's ready now select the object and object expand appearance okay now we have all shapes let's create the circle here we have the circle let's make it bigger it's the circle for our breath now copy and paste the circle make it smaller like this okay and now we need to create the circle in the center okay now let's select both here and align and now select both circles take blend tool select the first and now the second and now we have the circle in the center okay the middle circle and here we have three circles to create a breath they will help us to make it more perfect and now you need to create the composition what you want to see uh, on your breath okay i'm going to create my composition 
you can add your own uh, design vision. You can make leaves bigger, smaller, you can rotate it or reflect it. Uh, you can bring them uh, these leaves and shapes to front or to back so as you want it. Let's let me make it a little faster. Okay, we need to create only a part of the wreath and after that we will uh, copy and paste it. To make the perfect wreath. Okay, it's almost ready. Now we need to select that part without circles, Ctrl G, group it, and hold Alt to make the copy, and now rotate it. And just make it one more time, the copy, and one more here. Okay, it's almost ready. Now ungroup all elements. And just rotate the details to make it more perfect. If you like, you can bring some, bring some details to front. For example, berries. Okay, now you can delete all circles and it's almost ready. You can bring these elements here. Select the shape, group it, Ctrl G. And now let's add background. We need, uh, at first let's, uh, let's make it a little bigger and align. And let's take light color and rectangle tool. Create rectangle and send it to back. Okay, you can make the wrap a little bigger. Okay, and align it. Okay, guys, our autumn wrap is ready. You can delete details here. And it's ready hope you like the design well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye